Okay, I'm gonna do the Oh, nice. Good, good take, good take. Alright, Hey, I just signed up for- I just signed up for older brother from the US Army. Alright, what's up, y'all? Today I'm gonna show you how I made this NBA Youngboy type beat. I'm gonna be breaking down everything from the loop to the drums. And yeah, I'm not gonna waste any time. Let's get right into it. Alright, so this is what the loop sounds like. I'm gonna break down the piano first. I'll break it down without the top notes first. So I can just show you how I did the chord progression and then I'll show you how I did the top notes after. So you see I got a bass line down here and then I got these chords up here, but I really just started with just the bass line. So I started with just these notes here. So it really just repeats after four bars, it doesn't change it all over here. And so the first thing I did was on this first note F, I built a minor triad. So I went down five notes from the root note, so the root note was F, and I went one, two, three, four, five, and landed on C. And so from there I built this chord here, I just put this little note in here for bounce. And on this third chord I just separated it, so instead of playing it like this, I just put this note over here. And then over here, I'm not playing fifths, I'm playing thirds. So a fifth would be like this because there's five spaces in between the notes, which is like half a chord. But then I'm moving them up two more, so I'm playing thirds. And that just gives it like a, a bluesy feel and it's it gives it like tension. Like it doesn't it almost doesn't feel right, but it just adds like a lot of a lot of spice to your melodies. And then over here I'm kind of just like playing an arpeggiated chord. So I took this chord, but instead of playing it all at once, I played the notes individually. And then up here, I just took uh, this chord and just moved G up to an A and then pitched it up. And so this here is actually a fifth, but over here you can see I'm back to playing thirds. And I'm just moving, I'm just like very, uh, what am I trying to say? I'm using a variety of space gaps in between the notes. So here I'm playing a third, this is a fifth, this is a fifth here, this is a fifth here, but this might be a little more, so. I'm, I'm not just I'm not just playing the same things over and over again. I'm just like making sure to switch up the variety of types of harmonies that I'm doing. One piece of advice that I would give for these is just to make sure to just experiment with different types of harmonies. So over here, I could have just played a fifth, but instead I changed it so that the notes are closer together and that just adds more tension. So if there's one piece of advice I would give you is just experiment with different harmonies and play different types of notes together that you wouldn't usually put together. And then yeah, just find a rhythm and have it follow your bass line too. That's gonna add a lot of bounce. So you can see here it goes one, two with these and also goes one, two with these up here. And with these notes is actually just these notes pitched up. So if we come down, you can see I can just go one, two, three, four. And now we have these notes for our bass. So like I said, just different harmonies you wouldn't usually do. And just experiment with putting things up an octave, down an octave. And just yeah, making your chords wide, man. And now for these top notes, uh, I'm gonna play the top notes real quick. actually pretty easy all you need is a blues scale so we're in F minor here so I took F minor blues just put that there and so you can see all I'm doing is I'm just playing this blue scale up and down I'm not really whoa bro I'm not really doing anything special uh, the one thing that I'll say is um, this middle you see they have groups of three notes the one that's in the middle you don't want to stay on that for too long because when you're in a minor natural scale this note is out of key but it's like the best sounding out of key note in your scale so it's gonna sound good if you use it for like two seconds but you don't want to you can see i'm just using this note to get from like point a to b i'm just using it as a bridge in between this c and this a sharp i'm just putting that b in there and then same thing over here i'm just doing this little roll and i'm putting it in the middle so you don't want to resolve onto this note like how you see this whole phrase resolves this whole phrase here it resolves onto this d sharp you, you wouldn't want to resolve anything onto this b 
because that B is like it's a good note but it's not a good note you want to stay on for too long so yeah just really keep this in mind the middle note in the group of three notes in the scale don't resolve onto it because that's the blues note you don't want to resolve onto the blues note you just use the blues note to get from point A to B and making it sound cool in the process so over here you can see I'm just rolling up I'm rolling up to notes and I'm really using the same notes so you can see here I use C to roll up to D sharp and then I go back to C I do that a lot of my beats you roll up to a note and then you go back down to the note you used to roll up to so and then I use that blues note to roll back up to C and then you just go down the scale so really just like taking simple simple ideas and just adding some rules in there and making it sound a lot more complicated than it is like you can see this phrase here if you look at the shape I came up I went down I went up one more note and then I came down again so I'm really just not doing anything that complicated it's really simple I'm not gonna lie I got this EQ that's taking out some of the lows and then I got some reverb on it next up I layered it with this pad just to give it a little more atmosphere and fill up the space a little more That's just following the bass line of the piano. It's super simple. You can see we got minor chords and major chords in here. Nothing like nothing too complicated at all. Following the bass line, you can see the bass line down here. I just copied it in, and then yeah, I'm just playing chords that align with the bass line. Next, we have this bass line from a bass guitar. <laughs> Again, I'm just following the bass line of the piano, but I'm just adding in notes up an octave and just, you can see I'm layering notes here just to give it a little more spice. That's all you need to do for your bass lines is just like put stuff up an octave every now and then just quickly. You don't want to like stay on the high notes for too long. You just want to use them quickly and yeah, just make your bass line sound really good. And then over here, I just went down the blues scale just for fun and for effects on that i got a 40 hertz eq i just put that on all my bass lines because anything below that tends to get super muddy and you don't really want that and i forgot to go over the plugins i'm using so they're all from contact uh the piano is the grandeur piano um the guitar is the scarby j slap bass and the pad was from uh arcus and the pad was from arcus it's the drops of melody of drops of melancholy preset and the next up we got this organ here that's all it plays it's just at the end of the loop and that organ is the praise of the lord organ from vintage organs bank in contact and so that's all of our main things so now we're into our counter melodies so i got this little one shot here and i'm playing this pattern It's just like a little key one shot and I just put some little accent notes there. It's just following the bass line of the piano. And we got this wah. And that just repeats. Uh, it's just a lead wah from JB Saw Stuff Kit. I also got this smoke wah from Exclusive's Kit. The key was also from Exclusive's Kit. Shout out Exclusive. And we got this organ hit that's just playing on this note and we also have this exclusive rise of crash so that about does it for the loop and i'm about to open this in another flp and show you how to lay some hard ass drums on this sorry man all right well, let's go left <laughs> oh. all right so we're in the flp with all the drums in it and i'll show you what the beat sound like before we break it down <laughs> get the idea let's break down these drums so first uh so i'm gonna start with the claps so this is our clap pattern it's 
standard YB beat clap. Everyone knows this. Fill at the end. I like doing that on my beats, just adding a little clap fill at the end, even if you don't use an actual drum fill. We also got the classic NBA snare that's in every YB type beat. Just got it playing on the notes that everybody plays it on. And made a little fill at the end too. It's time for you to yeah, break down your very complicated open hat pattern. Alright. Well, what about my hi hats I did? So, uh, what I did first was lay down a two step pattern. And then I took out some and added the rolls. That's <laughs> just about it. And then we also got these open hats that you did. Oh, no, no, these, these. Okay, these. You need the sauce for these ones. Okay. The first, one, this is right? the pattern. This is the pattern. All right, listen closely. Whoa. <laughs> and then. Ooh, now, yeah, how, you get, different, bro. how you get that effect is you put one down, then you go to the fifth one and put another one down there. These open hats. I did these. Oh, uh. They're just on the. I don't know. I just put them down in random places. And... Alright, then we got all these perks, and I'll play all the perks together, then break them down. I don't know what to say about the perks, I'll be honest. You kind of just like oh. put them down. <laughs> so, the last one sounds like when someone in a cartoon walked tiptoes. <laughs> All right, let's break down the 808s. I think we did this together, right? Like, we kind of did this, like, at the same time. I did it, though. Yeah, I did I just copied the bass line. Yeah, so I told him what the bass line of the piano was. Like I said before, you just want to make sure that your bass follows the bass line of the piano. And so, yeah, he's just adding more accent notes. Copy the bass line and then take some off. Yeah, exactly. And then at the end, you want to do something crazy. That's what you're doing all your YB type beats at the last the last bar for your 808s. Do something crazy, and then we just layered it with uh, this kick on top of it. Do we have any effects on our 808s? No, we don't have effects on the 808s or the kick. You don't really need it. You just gotta mix it right. I think that's it though. I think we broke down the whole beat. Just about it. All right, thanks so much for watching though, for real. Like, if you learned something, that means a lot to me. Make sure to tell me in the comments uh, what you want me to do next. And yeah, I'll be out. See ya.